What's going on everybody? It's Jack. Welcome back to this week's YouTube video. Today I've got three recipes for you guys. We're going to recreate three of my favorite fast food items at home and make them healthier. So to start off, we're going with the crunch wrap, the breakfast crunch wrap from Taco Bell. We've got our tortilla here. We're going to do two eggs, two slices of bacon. We've got some cheddar cheese and then of course the hash brown. So we're going to be whipping up one of these guys. We're going to scramble some eggs, two eggs like I mentioned. We're just going to microwave two pieces of bacon air fry our hash brown and then once I've got all this kind of cooked up we'll assemble it I'll go over the calories macros all that kind of stuff and yeah let's get to it all right now we have everything cooked up we have our hash brown air fry we're gonna pull out our tortilla we also got our cheese measured out our two slices of bacon microwave and our eggs cooked as well. First things first, we're gonna take our tortilla, set that down. We're gonna put the hash brown down first. Boom, just like that. And this is kind of preference. I'm gonna do a little bit of cheese now before the eggs. So I take a little bit of cheese, boom. Put it down on that hash brown, just like that. Then we're gonna take our egg and I kind of put it in like a square and hopefully it'll kind of come off like that as well right over the hash brown. That was almost perfect. Take a look at that, covering the hash brown perfectly. Next, we'll take our bacon. You can cut this up. I'm just gonna rip it up a little bit into some smaller pieces, but if you really wanna get technical with it, you could cut it. Go ahead and rip that up a little bit. And we'll go ahead and sprinkle that on top. There we go. Bacon's down, and then we'll add the rest of our cheese right on top. And then this is where the technique comes in. The folding is probably the hardest part. Alrighty, hopefully you guys can see that. So we're gonna go ahead and take one edge, fold it the best we can, and kind of tuck that away, and then bring the next one in, and tuck that, bring the next one, and then just continue that process all the way around. Tuck, fold. Alrighty. And as you can see, we have a little bit of cheese sticking out right on the top. That's completely fine. We're gonna throw that back on our pan and that should crisp up nicely. And here we have it, our breakfast crunch wrap. As you can see, the cheese got nice and hard and kind of created a shell on the outside right there. So it is staying together. And we did have a little rip, as you guys can see right there, but that's not a huge deal. It happens. If anything, maybe you can get a larger tortilla or maybe change up the ingredient volume. But of course, we gotta give this a nice chop right down the middle. And boom, that's what we're looking like. I mean, that just looks absolutely delicious. We have our egg, our cheese, our hash brown, our bacon. It smells so damn good. So real quick, I'm gonna read off the macros for you guys. So this is 435 calories. It is 21 grams of carbs, 27 grams of fat, and 29 grams of protein, where the Taco Bell, I looked it up earlier today. So the Taco Bell breakfast crunch wrap is actually 670 calories. 40 grams of fat, 51 grams of carbs, and only 21 grams of protein. So as you can see, we cut the calories by, what is that, 200 and almost 40 calories. We cut in half, and we also increased our protein as well from 21 to 29. You could even make this healthier if you wanna do egg whites, you could do turkey bacon instead of regular bacon, you do extra low fat cheese, I did whole cheddar, and you could probably find even a lower cow tortilla. But I am so excited to dig into this. this absolutely delicious. Also, I mean, the phone eats first, right? And if you guys aren't following me on Instagram, go ahead and do that. I'll throw a link down in the description, but just underscore Jack Perez underscore. I post a lot of daily meals content on there, all that kind of stuff. But we'll go ahead and give this a taste test. You gotta be kidding me. This is so good, holy crap. For 430 calories, whatever it is, this is phenomenal. It is so good. It doesn't take much time. The longest thing was cooking up the hash brown. Everything else was two minutes to make the eggs, 
20 seconds to microwave the bacon, and then just assembly. You know what this needs? One thing. All right, before I show you guys what I'm gonna add to it, any guesses? All right, yeah, you were right. Some Cholula hot sauce. This stuff can go on anything. Absolutely perfect. That is so good. I'm gonna dig into the second half. I've got two meals left for you guys. Everything today is gonna be healthier, done at home, probably lower calories as well as healthier, higher protein, all that good stuff. I'll show you guys the rest of the meal. And yeah, I think we're off to a good start. I'd say one for one, we're gonna give this a nine out of 10. It is time for our second meal. We're gonna change things up a little bit. We're gonna go with the bigger Big Mac and fries for our second meal. Just finished up a workout, so we want a little bit more carbs. So we've got a potato here, a rusted potato. That's for the fries. And then we've got our lean ground beef, our buns. These are not keto or low calorie. I couldn't find them at the store, they didn't have any, but I definitely recommend those if you can find them. Some cheddar cheese, some shredded lettuce, and then this is gonna be making our special sauce. I'll go over the total ingredients for that in a second. Also, I'm not including raw onions because I'm not a fan. I wanna enjoy this meal, but I'll tell you guys when you should throw some raw onions in within the recipe. First things first, we're gonna take our potato, we're gonna cut it up into fry-shaped pieces and throw it in our bowl over here that is filled with some room temperature water. That's just gonna help the fries kind of absorb some moisture and get nice and crispy when we do air fry those. So first things first, we're gonna take our potato and just cut up into fries. Now we got our fries in our water, room temperature water, soaking for a little bit. We're gonna make an, our sauce. So we've got quite a few ingredients. I'll read off the total ingredients for each thing and then I'll just go ahead and assemble it. So it is gonna be three tablespoons of mayo. I've got light mayo. It's gonna be one teaspoon of mustard, one tablespoon of diced pickles. It would be one tablespoon of raw onion as well, like a white onion, but I'm not gonna have that. One teaspoon of white vinegar, one teaspoon of stevia, or just one little packet as a sweetener, half a teaspoon of smoked paprika, half a teaspoon of garlic powder, and half a teaspoon of onion powder. I might actually go a quarter teaspoon of each of those. So we're gonna do a quarter teaspoon of paprika, a quarter teaspoon of garlic powder, and a quarter teaspoon of onion powder. That should be more than enough. So first things first, we got our bowl right here. We're gonna cut up some pickles, and then we'll assemble it. Now we got our sauce, we're gonna give that a good mix and set that aside. That can go ahead and wait until we're ready to assemble our burger. Put that over there. Next thing, our fries have been sitting, soaking that water. We're gonna pull those out, dap them on the paper, and then they'll actually go right into the air fryer. We've got a little bit of olive oil and then some salt we're gonna use. So we're gonna go ahead and spray the actual inside real quick, just a little bit. And then once we have all the fries in there, we'll spray it again and add some salt. And now our fries will go in the air fryer at 400 degrees for 10 minutes. At the about four or five minute mark left, go ahead, take it out, shake them so they cook all the way even. But you should have a good spread, make sure they're all relatively flat and check them every once in a while until they're done, but should take about 10 minutes at 400 degrees. Now we have our sauce done, our fries in the air fryer, and it's time to make our patties. We're gonna make two four ounce patties. I have a pound of beef right here, so I'll cut that in half and then take half which will be eight ounces and divide into two patties. And this, we're just gonna eyeball about half. I don't wanna use the my knife, actually. I'm just gonna grab it. Alrighty, and then we have our two patties. We're gonna go ahead, head over to the actual stove, get that heated up, and then we're gonna put our two patties on there, just season with salt and pepper, press them down, cook them for maybe four or five minutes each side, and then we'll just be able to assemble our burger. Now we've got our pan heated up. Hit it with a little bit of non-stick. Wow, I just completely missed. That was done lefty, that's why it looks so bad. And then we'll go ahead and throw our burgers down. Boom, and boom. I'm gonna wash my hands, then we'll press them down and then add our salt and pepper. We've got our burgers cooking away. Give them a quick flip. Now we're gonna add our cheese to have that melt. 
You can hear the air fryer going off in the background, but we're gonna do one serving of cheddar cheese. It's in a block, so I had to kinda cut it weird, but I'm gonna distribute it, and hopefully it melts nice and evenly over the burgers. Now the time has come for our assembly. We've got our burgers cooked, our cheese melted, our fries done as well. Those look perfect right at 10 minutes. You can see nice and crispy. Oh, they're, they're hot, I'm not gonna do that yet. But one thing I actually should have looked up that I didn't is exactly how they make the burgers or like how they stack all the ingredients. I know it's one and a half buns, I do know that. So we're gonna do, we're gonna do sauce at almost every level, why not, right? So we're gonna take some sauce, spread that on the bottom bun, and then I think we'll go, we'll go shredded lettuce, pickles, burger, bun, and then just kinda repeat that. So we'll do a little bit of shredded lettuce on there, boom. Pickles, we'll do two pickles on there, one hot burger, and then we'll do the other bun, bottom bun, right there. Repeat the process, so we got some sauce. I'm gonna have some leftover sauce too, this is a lot of sauce. Boom. Try lettuce. Pickles. Another burger. And then just for good measure, we'll do some sauce on top as well. And holy cow. <laughs> this is definitely a bigger Big Mac. Trying to like get to stand. Let's see. That better? Holy crap, you guys can take a look at that. That is absolutely gorgeous. And then we'll have all of our fries on the side. Come on, fries. So that's one whole potato worth of fries. And then we'll use the rest of the sauce as like dipping sauce for the fries because I already calculated the macros for all the sauce even though we're gonna use it. I'm gonna take this over, clean up a little bit, and then we'll dig in. Alrighty, so here we have our final product. We got our bigger Big Mac and then our fries as well, a little extra sauce on the side. So for this entire meal, it comes out to be 883 calories. Yes, that's a lot, but it's been a lot less fat than actual Big Mac and fries from McDonald's. It is 78 carbs, 31 grams of fat, and 69 grams of protein. I'll look up what McDonald's Big Mac and fries is just to compare it real quick. So we'll compare this meal, which I do have a soda on the side, zero calorie, to a McDonald's Big Mac meal. So that's gonna be a Big Mac, a large fry, and a large Coca-Cola. So for the Big Mac meal at McDonald's, it is 1,320 calories, 51 grams of fat, 192 grams of carbs, and then only 32 grams of protein. And as I mentioned, ours is 883 calories, 78 grams of carbs, 31 grams of fat, and 69 grams of protein. And I said this is pretty comparable to a Big Mac meal. I think our burger's bigger, I think we have more fries, we have a whole potato on here, and then also our drink of choice, a zero calorie soda, absolutely delicious. So, I mean, I don't think I can fit my mouth on this, but we'll give the fries a taste test first. Honestly, I think they could have been in the air fry a little bit longer. They are crispy, but not like throughout the entire fry. That might have been user error, but Oh, we gotta try the Big Mac sauce too. Hmm. I mean, mayonnaise, it's always gonna taste good, right? Okay, so now for this behemoth. I mean, this thing's massive. I don't know how I can get this all. All right, we're gonna do our absolute best to get the biggest bite. I don't even know where to attack this from. That is so good. 
I think I only took one bite of the actual bottom burger, but if you guys can see that. Boom. This is absolutely ginormous and I'm gonna make a total mess. All right, so we're gonna rate this. The burger, 10 out of 10. So good, the sauce is phenomenal. The fries, not so good. I'll maybe give them, honestly, probably like a six out of 10, just gonna know how good McDonald's fries really are. So combine this meal, I'll give it an eight out of 10. Breakfast was a little bit better and closer to the actual thing. The fries just bring this down. If it was the burger alone, 10 out of 10. This is so much better than the Big Mac. It is better calories, better taste in my opinion. I'm just guilt free. All this is protein with some nice low calorie toppings. That is meal number two, an absolute mess. My hands are gross. I'm sure there's some on my face and I need to do some dishes. So I'll see you guys at our third and final meal, spicy chicken nuggets. And we're back for meal number three. We've got some spicy chicken nuggets. I have made this on the channel once before and they were so good. We had to run it back. So playing off of Wendy's spicy chicken nuggets or any other fast food restaurant that has spicy nuggets, we've got our chicken breast right here. We've got 250 grams of chicken breast cut up. We've got about 35 grams of flour in the first bowl. We've got one egg scrambled in the second bowl. And then we've got the key ingredient, Grippo's chips, or any sort of like spicy chip that you can kind of turn into some breadcrumbs. Oh, I forgot one thing. I can't believe I almost forgot the Cholula. So what we're gonna do with this is just throw this in our egg wash, add a little bit of spice to it. And then also our dipping sauce will be spicy as well. I'll show you guys what that is. But first things first, we're gonna take our chicken breast. We're gonna go ahead and toss it in the flour, make sure it's nice and coated. And then once our chicken is completely coated in the flour, we'll drop it in the egg wash, switch hands, use our other hand to cover it with our egg wash, drop it into our Grippo chips or our breading, and then we'll use that and cover it up. Make sure you got total coverage on there, give it a good shake even. And boom, you got one chicken nugget, go ahead and lay that in your air fryer and then we're gonna repeat the process for all of our nuggets. Now we've got all of our chicken nuggets in our air fryer, so we're gonna go ahead and hit that with some olive oil spray, nothing crazy. And then we'll throw this in the air fryer, we're gonna do 360 for nine to 10 minutes, flip halfway. Alrighty, and here we have our chicken nuggets on our plate. As you can see, nine minutes, 360, almost perfect. Flip them halfway. And now we've got our little sauce on the side, our dipping sauce. We have some fat-free ranch as well as our Cholula hot sauce. I was first introduced to this spicy ranch combo or this hot ranch combo. Freshman year of college eating pizza. Pizza with ranch, amazing. Pizza with ranch and hot sauce, even better. So I'll review off the macros real quick for this meal. So it is chicken breast, 250 grams, some white flour, egg coating, We've got the barbecue chips and we've got the frat free ranch and Cholula hot sauce. It is 617 calories for all of this, including the sauce, 42 grams of carbs, 20 grams of fat and 65 grams of protein. So that is a phenomenal meal. Also, I picked up this prime. This is like the Logan Paul KSI new energy drink or not energy drink, hydration drink, sports drink. It's only 20 calories, but I figured I'd do a quick taste test for you guys and just see how it is. I mean, my expectations are high. Wow. <laughs> damn, I kind of almost didn't want to like it, and that is so damn good. Gosh, I cannot get hooked on drinks. I don't spend, I spend enough money on like calorie-free sodas, but damn, that is really good. So maybe I'll pick up another flavor to try next video. But if you calculated everything I ate today, the first meal, the crunch wrap, the second meal, the bigger Big Mac and fries, as well as these spicy chicken nuggets, it would come out to be 1,935 calories. And then that would be 141 grams of carbs, 78 grams of fat, and 162 grams of protein. I definitely think it was lacking in the micronutrient department, not enough fruits and vegetables. So I'd say maybe add a piece of fruit and some vegetables with each of these meals and you could be good to go. But just under 2000 calories for the day. I think I'll probably have maybe like a Greek yogurt and some fruit and vegetables later in the day. I mean, it's already kind of late, but I have a little bit of time left. But I'm gonna go ahead and dig in. We're gonna do a quick taste test. It is hot. Ew. 
These are so good. I mean, and you can see, oh my gosh, how juicy this chicken is. I mean, it is crispy, it is tender, it is absolutely delicious. I might have to give this an 11 out of 10. I literally think I might rather eat these than spicy nuggets from Wendy's. They're fantastic, don't get me wrong, but Grippo barbecue chips as the coating of these guys, knowing it's all white meat and this dipping sauce is that much better. I think I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna say this is better than the fast food, healthier, better macros, cheaper, all done at home. I'm gonna end the video here. I'm gonna enjoy this. Watch some Bleach, that's my new anime right now. I've been watching Bleach. I'm about maybe 16, 17 episodes in. I watched The Great Pretender, binged that, and now I'm on to Bleach. Bleach is really good so far. It is a very old anime, so it's like a square rather than a rectangle when you view it, which is kind of weird. But I do recommend it, it is good so far. I'm one of the big three, so I just have to watch it. And I put off one piece, so that's essentially why I'm watching Bleach. But I'm gonna end the video here. Thanks so much for tuning in, guys. Make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. Let me know what other video ideas you guys have for me down in the description. Maybe I do another version of a fast food, full day of eating, different meals, that kind of thing. But yeah, that's the end of the video. I'll see you guys next week. Peace.